Right now at 7, a wild pursuit ends with two police officers in the hospital and an arrest made. We're live at the UCI Medical Center in Orange with an update on their condition as the officers and the suspect recover from their injuries. Plus a tragic turn in SWAT standoff. How a home at the center of a tense situation exploded in flames. And could we be just hours away from a deal to release hostages being held in Gaza? We'll have details about what needs to happen next. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November 21st. I'm Jamie Ukas. I'm Rudy Beshabasi. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News Mornings and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. The holiday travel rush is underway no right kidding. now. How airports <laughs> across the country are bracing for the bump in traffic. I know a little bit about that. Yes. And as that holiday travel peaks, the windy weather will too, especially here. While around the nation, other complications are in store. Meteorologist Paul Deano joins us now for a look at our next weather. And I can tell you, I was in that windy weather coming in. It was a little bouncy <laughs> trying to land at LA. Again. A moderate chop coming in yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was the windiest day of the fall by far. Thankfully, today will not be. It is still a very windy start to the day in western and northwestern L.A. County, eastern Ventura County, Simi Valley, still a 54 mile per hour wind gust. We are seeing the winds begin to relax, though, in the Inland Empire. Riverside, it's down to 20 miles an hour and Claremont, 21 miles per hour. So we're still windy in spots. All the advisories and warnings end at noon today. So we have about five more hours to go, especially those of you in Simi Valley and also in Camarillo. It will be a warm afternoon and it will be sunny and pleasant for travel. High wind warning still in effect, although I think it might get uh, canceled early. This would be the Inland Empire in Orange County, where I just showed you the 20 mile per hour wind gust, but the high wind warning continues. Also for the San Gabriel, San Bernardinos, and we have a wind advisory now in and around Thousand Oaks in the Caneo Valley. Highs today right around 80 degrees, 80 for our valleys, 79 for the metro area, and 77 degrees with sunshine at our beaches. It will be more pleasant this afternoon once those winds relax. We'll have that coming up in a few minutes. The extended forecast, including Thanksgiving. Right now, a first look at the roads with Kalina. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So I have a couple crashes happening in LA right now. I'm also going to take you out to the Inland Empire and Orange County in just a bit. But starting off with this SIG alert, we've been talking about for a while, northbound 57 at Yorba Linda Boulevard. Only the carpool lane is open. We got speeds down to 20 miles per hour. That's in the southbound direction and northbound traffic building off of the 91. The rest of Orange County, lots of traffic on the five southbound also on the 405 as well. You can see that 42 minute commute on the five south. Travel times 405 southbound about 27 minutes leaving the 22 to the 55. And in the Inland Empire, your usual slow spots this morning, including the 15 to the Cajon Pass. This camera kind of shaky because of that wind out there this morning. So if you're a high profile driving in a high profile vehicle, you got to be careful. It'll take you 30 minutes on the southbound 15 between the 18 and 215 and 47 minutes on the 91 westbound leaving Corona into Orange County. Here Here's a look at LA. Lots of red out there. We do have a stalled car, 10 West at Arlington. This has the left lane blocked off. Ruta Bay, back to you. Driving in Southern California can be, well, you know, slow. KCAL traffic keeps you moving. With the where, when, and which way to go. Be prepared for now and what's next. Next traffic on KCAL News. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news. Streaming wherever, whenever.